It's back. Finally. Welcome to technically episode two of Let's Build Creative Minecraft. I say technically because if you remember, I actually lost uh, episode one. The the uh, the world got lost with a with a failed hard drive, but I've started over. I put I put in some work, and I've already got something built right in front of me. Let's roll the time lapse, then we'll go through it and talk about how I built it, some of the details in it. One of the things I like to do when I build something like this is get a bit of field of the build from the ground level, like as if you were an actual person at this location. Everything's just towering over you. It's so cool. So let's walk through it, talk about some of the changes. So I have world edit. You probably uh, noticed that um, during the time lapse. Um, quick note, I'm not that good with world edit. There's probably things that I could have done that faster, um, but um, it, I'm learning, so so we're getting there. But so we're gonna apply. We we always talk about about castle defenses and realistic um, builds and stuff on this channel, and this is not an exception. So to start off, we have a two stage defense system. Um, so around the whole thing, there's going to be a wall, kind of like this. Um, and, and there, uh, there's going to be a pit at, at the end of the wall. So up here, there's a kind of a pit down here. Um, let's actually make this look a little more natural and throw in some grass. That's not grass, some grass. No one's going to look down here, but that's, that's what makes these builds great. The little things like you can keep looking everywhere and it's like you never stop finding details. That's, that's what's really cool about some of these big creative projects. Um, so there will be a wall all around it. So this wall will continue over here. Um, that'll probably be the last thing that I do because I want to know my ex exact perimeter of, of the castle. Uh, then we have a, a gate, a, a gate house with two gates. So theoretically you could... Close both gates, they get through one, um, you're stuck in here, and then there could be a uh, spot for arrow, um, arrow slots, or whatever they're called, just like that, and you get shot, and you're dead. So that's really nice. <clears throat> get through that somehow, and, you know, I added some stuff over on this side, just a nice, um, you know, guard outpost. I put this little tower here. 
I honestly don't know that I like it because, first of all, it doesn't function as an outpost. Um, well, I guess it could, but like, <laughs> there's already a giant tower right here, so there's really no need for it. But it, it's kind of a cool detail, so I guess I kind of like it. Um, an outpost here for uh, you know watching the pathway and whatnot. Um, kind of more casual than being in the in the actual castle. Um, and then get inside. Haven't actually done anything in there yet. Um, after you go there, up on he the this way, we've got a second gatehouse, and this one has a drawbridge. If you weren't clear on what that is, this is a drawbridge. So we we could potentially use command blocks to get this thing up, I guess, but um, I'm probably not going to mess with that. I don't really know how command bo blocks work, but the idea is that this could go up, and then you'd have that um, that uh, ditch that you'd have to get over, and then there'd be uh, this would function as a gate. Then it would stop people from getting in. Um, I really like this this little house, a uh, gatehouse right here. Um, you know, I thought we got some pretty cool, the fact that it's not, that the only inhabitable part is up here, I thought was kind of cool that this is just a wall, but we were able to make some interior living space right here. I took some creative liberties with the anvils, that's something I, I don't get to do very often when I'm building in survival, so that was, that's kind of fun. Um, I don't know... I'll have to continue this as a theme because it would look kind of out of place if that's the only spot where we do it. Because obviously over here, all of our windows are tiny little arrow holes. Um, and and that's pretty much it. So we'll have to find a way to carry that on throughout. But I like what we have so far. So this castle is kind of going to be separated by a section over here, and then a similar section, a larger section, on this peak. This is outlining, or outlining a uh, an entrance, and this, you know, a lot of builders, they will outline the whole thing and wall before they get started. I am using these as very rough guidelines. I do not know what this is going to look like entirely. I don't know what the layout's going to be. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this corner castle and kind of just work my way. Do the corner castle, do this wall, do this corner, and see how it all works out. So like I said, the really neat thing about these large projects is all the little details. If you've ever downloaded a map built by a build team, you can walk forever and ever and ever and keep finding new things. And it's like, that's how the real world is. Like, uh, there's like stuff everywhere, right? Not just you, like, this is a bad, ha bad building habit. If you just build a structure and don't put anything around it. That doesn't set the environment. Now, luckily, we have this beautiful map, Le Monde, um, <clears throat> to set the environment for us. So this is even more important when you're in vanilla, probably. But um, it's little things. So I'm just going to show you how I get started with some of this. We're going to get started on this cast on this tower here. Now, I loaded up World Edit. Um, if you see the recording in the top right, that's because it's recording my replay uh, mod. So we just set our parameters there, and I'm really bad with uh, commands. And as you can see, I just had to undo a bunch of stuff because I super pickaxed uh, a bunch of stuff that I didn't want to pickaxe. But um, replace air stone, replace wool stone, and this is pretty much how we get the per uh, the like outline of a castle. Now, some builders, and I've watched some. Uh, some other teams uh time lapses and stuff and they will they will build everything from the ground up in in high detail um i, I don't know how they do it to be honest um i i've have a much easier time getting the um 
the parameters set. So we can do something like this. And then we can work on our details from there. This is, That's how I did this, if you watch. And it doesn't look pretty at first. It looks pretty ugly at first, in fact. Um, so we, I, I'm going to want the base to be a, a larger size. So we're going to do the exact same thing. Just like that. And what we can do is work on one side at a time. Because it just makes our lives easier. If we work on all four sides at the same time, then we decide, I don't like this detail. And we can go back and change it. But I'm going to carry on this theme of, of these type details being at the base of these buildings. So we're going to go up here, and I think what I want to do is... You know, this is a larger scale. I was thinking about doing this but you know what could be cool is if we actually did this and up the scale that's something that i have a hard time with Ooh, eh. okay <clears throat> i think what we're gonna have to do because of the size that we gave ourselves is this okay we actually can't really do that because we gave ourselves an odd number to build in um, that that's like even number stuff that we're doing right now right there. So let's just do that um, Keep on bringing it down and Then we'll see where we can go from there. So even now it it looks pretty plain So we're gonna go um, and, and I'm probably gonna undo this because I found when you randomize the stone into um, into a combination of bricks like that if you copy and paste this over here, it's going to have the same same thing. So, for example, I built this tower and then I copy and paste it over here. I had to go in and do like this um, every now and then. And you can probably see that there are a lot of similar blocks because these were identical. And I had to like re-randomize them manually because they were the exact same. Because I didn't wait to randomize those until after. Or, yeah. Yeah, so that's right. Um, so we're going to do the exact same here, thing here. I just want to I just want to see what it looks like, kind of. So we're going to... Hello? Can I get, get, get my point here? So we're going to go replace... Replace stone with... Oh... 60%. Uh, that's the block ID for stone bricks. Um, 25% stone, 15% cobblestone, and it will look like that. Now, that looks a lot more interesting, obviously. I don't really care for this design. I'm probably going to go back and forth multiple times on, on what exactly I'm going to do. It's also... I didn't like that until until I got it all finished up. What I'm probably going to do is do the top first because I know what that's going to look like. It's going to look like that. Um, so as I always say, do the stuff that you know how you want to do it and then, uh, and then worry about the stuff that you don't know how you're going to do. So I'm actually going to grab... Um, do I, what? Nah, I was gonna copy and paste from over there, but it's not gonna be big enough, so I don't think that's gonna work. And this is gonna be like some sort of uh, outpost, so we can put that in, see what it looks like. So it's gonna be like this. So I just wanted to show you guys how exactly I'm doing a lot of this stuff. Yeah, so it's these kinds of details that really bring out re uh, these builds where. A lot of this wall is going to be pretty, uh, you know, cookie cutter. Like, it's going to be the mixed block type. I can I could do some little tricks where where I I set it in and maybe put a log in there and and do this type of thing. You know, I, I get those options. The thing that I think I really don't like about this is it's too high. Um, it should look like like these. It's 
it's down here. This one, it's down here. This one's like halfway up, so I really don't like that. Probably going to change that. Um, do the top side, but there's a lot of a lot of thinking. I, I have a hard time thinking about how to do this stuff while I'm talking. So next episode, look forward to I'm I'm hoping to get a good chunk of this thing done. I, I Man, I love working in creative. I used to religiously, practically, um, you know, be survival only like that was the only way to build um but man i i feel like i can do so many cool things in this series so i'm really happy to have it back episode 1.2 1 1.12 uh, whatever episode you want to call it thank you for watching everybody if you have any suggestions on what to do with this other than this awful thing right here i know it's bad um but thank you for watching everybody i'll see you another time bye